Hey you guys, this is Roman Deer Park Farmstead. I told you the garden was done, but it's actually not done. We have a, another garden we are building and it um, it's gonna be a little work, but uh, we got a little bit uh, done here. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing. This is gonna be like a kitchen garden, raised beds close to the house here. So uh, check it out. It's gonna be a little different from the way I did back here. So, we are gonna have four raised beds right here. Right butting up against the house. There's a clean out right here. So what I'm gonna do here is clean this area here and get a nice area cleaned out right in front of these beds. These aren't done yet. These are just kind of mocked up. I'm still cutting the boards. So we're gonna get a nice clean path. And we had some leftover shavings over here. So we went and put them in here, kind of give us an idea of what it's gonna be looking like. And, you know, kind of have a nice little area for the beds. So there's gonna be four raised beds. This wood here, isn't that cool? Really neat character to it uh, already. Uh, was on the property so we were able to you know just reuse stuff from the property it's got some a really neat look to it so I think this is really gonna look cool once it's all done those boards are really neat so I'm still cutting those these are seven foot by four foot and uh, you're gonna look sharp these raised beds so this could definitely be applied to an urban setting and I uh, basically you can see right here is I cut out the turf and I'm just gonna continue cutting out uh, pulling out all the turf I just put it in here and what we're gonna do is lay some cardboard over the top of that and uh, then we have some stuff over here. These are more of the boards. We have some straw here. So we're going to use some of the straw that was left over in some of the coops, the wood chips and stuff like that. So we'll be able to use that. I have some, uh, some wood chips that we have over here that filled with poop so put that in there get some carbon get some nitrogen and we should be good now also boom check this out we have an orchard already started uh, these are all apple trees and two pear trees and a couple grapes so the orchard has started and uh, I'll go over some of these that we got here. This is um, Bosque Pear, um, Fireside Apple. My wife went and got these. Mama Deer Park Farmstead. Uh, honey Crisp, have to have Honey Crisp, right? Uh, this is a Korean giant Asian pear and then over here Gibson gold apple and another honey crisp yes and uh, still don't know where we're gonna put these blueberries I think my wife already has a destination for those but we have this part of the property here that we already started the orchard. You can kind of see the different little areas we put here. These are plum trees. So this one was already here, this plum tree. So we have this plum tree that um, was already producing a lot last year. So really 
stoked on that one. And uh, so we got five more to kind of keep this going. We're gonna put some more apple, the apples here. We have four apples. And then the pears are gonna be around here as well. So getting the orchard going. How cool is that? And those are pretty mature, uh, you know, trees. We were able to get there early enough to where the, uh, you know, people do, were buying them uh, and they're just opened. Uh, check this out. So we had put these nice shavings in here. Doesn't that look nice? So, hopefully, I can go back to my roots from Vegas times when I used to come out to my garden barefoot. Just be, be one with nature, right? Check out the... Uh, that's the Red Russian Kale and... Ruby streak uh, mustard greens. We got some kale growing in here. Really small, but those are already starting to come up. And you already saw the radish coming in. So we're on our way. Really happy with how things are going. I'll definitely be able to harvest some of this arugula pretty soon here. We've got days and I'll be able to enjoy. I've noticed, and this happens quite a bit, it does thicken up in certain areas. So sometimes you have to, you know, kind of trim down a little, just take off the, uh, the thicker parts so the others can, the other part can catch up. So, I'll probably end up doing that. This beginning part seems to be a little thicker. <laughs> but it sure looks good. Can't wait. It's so good when it's fresh, crispy, delicious. And the best part about this is we've been getting rain the past few days. It's not a lot. Not crazy. But enough to where I don't have to water. And the garden gets a nice watering so I could do other stuff, other projects like this garden area. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Be well.